Chapter 10, The Endocrine System. In this chapter, we're going to cover the functions and mechanisms of hormones, and then we're going to go into each of the individual glands. We're going to focus on the hypothalamus and pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid, adrenal, pancreas, thymus, and penile gland. But we're going to start off by looking at an overview of the functions and mechanisms of hormones. The main function of the endocrine system is to coordinate body systems and maintain homeostasis. The endocrine system works with the nervous system. It is more leisurely system of communication than the nervous system, so it's less instantaneous but more long-term um, alterations and effects. The endocrine glands can contain secretory, secretory cells that release their products slash hormones into intracellular fluid where they then diffuse into the bloodstream. So what we're going to see is that these glands are going to secrete hormones just outside of the cell. They're going to go into that interstitial fluid. They're then going to diffuse slowly into the bloodstream. Once they go into the bloodstream, they're going to travel to wherever they need. Hormones are just one type of chemical messenger in the body. Um, exocrine glands, so endocrine glands, as we've already mentioned, secrete into the interstitial fluid. Exocrine glands secrete their products into ducts, which are going to lead to body surfaces or cavities, spaces within the organs. Oil and salivary glands are a great example of those ex exocrine glands. Although horm hormones um, come into contact with virtually all cells, they typically affect a particular type of cell, often called the target cell. Target cells have receptors, which are protein molecules that will recognize and bind to specific hormones. Cells other than the target cells will lack the correct receptors and are unaffected by the hormone. So the hormone will diffuse wherever into the body, but it, the signal is only going to be read or picked up by specific target cells. Here's an example of a little bit of the difference. So here's an exocrine gland. An exocrine gland, like this oil gland, is going to secrete a product into a duct. The duct is going to lead to the outside of the body. Endocrine glands, on the other hand, these each one of these cells is going to secrete these hormone proteins which are, or, well, hormones can be proteins, or there are also steroids, lipid hormones, um, that are going to be secreted into the interstitial fluid and then diffuse into the bloodstream and then travel throughout the body. Um, organs with some endocrine tissue include the hypothalamus, thymus, pancreas, ovaries, testes, heart, placenta, stomach, small intestine, kidneys. Um, and this is just a diagram of where all of these are located. Um, I do want you to spend a little bit of time looking at figure 10.2. Come back to this at the end of the chapter and, um, and you'll see where all of these different hormones are located and what their purposes and functions are. So this is a really great way to summarize everything that you're going to learn in this particular chapter.